Welcome back to another review by Mega Trainer. Today we're having a look at a, another Backman locomotive which I got last week at the Bluebell Railway Gala. Uh, this particular one I got from the 73082 Camelot Society stall. I saw this, it's a model which I've been after for a very long time. I saw this for a really good price. I couldn't say no, <laughs> basically. Um, anyway, as you can tell, the locomotive is not in the box, and you can tell that this is a C class. And if we turn to the side, you can see it's a C class number 31086. It's in British Railways black with the early emblem. It says 21 pin DCC, but I've already uh, DCC'd it. And if we turn to the back, you see you get tons of information about the class if you want to read, pause to read. There you go. Now, um, the C class, it was a class of 109 engines built by the South East and then Chatham Railway between 1900 and 1908 to, to the design of Harry Wainwright. And being 060 engines at the time, 060 tender engines, um, they were of course designed for goods trains, uh, which they did very well. And uh, majority of the class were built at Ashford Works, but some of them were built uh, at Longhenge Works, uh, Nielsen, and also at Sharp Stewart. And you know they had pretty um, pretty ordinary lives working you know goods trains across the uh, southeastern network. Uh, all 109 examples passed into the Southern Railway, and then all but two uh, passed into British Railways. Uh, ownership in 1948. Uh, the, the class was withdrawn in the late 1950s and the final examples were withdrawn in 1962. One example has been preserved on the Bluebell Railway, number 592, uh, which is currently a static exhibit, uh, though for many years it was a stalwart member of the uh, operational fleet. Uh, whether it will run again, only time will tell. Of course, like many of these projects, you know, they're, they're, there's a lot of locomotives on the back burner, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's just the way it is with heritage railways nowadays. Restoring steam engines is expensive business. But hopefully, you know, we'll see 592 run again. Um, so let's put the, uh, the box to one side. Now, the locomotive and the tender are joined together by means of wire. Um, it also has been super detailed, which you'll see what I mean. So we'll need to be very very careful. I mean I'm, I'm careful with the with locomotives anyway but this one I have to be particularly careful. So anyway here is the locomotive. I'm just gonna... oh crikey. There we go. Uh, yeah. Right. So this is what I mean. So it's got the... it's got that connection and also it's got these figures in the cab and the fireman shovel is protruding outwards so I need to be very careful to make sure that the tender does not actually hit the shovel because then the fireman the fireman is then going to fall out um, but yeah let's have a look at the engine oh, wow wow absolutely beautiful I mean start off, uh, there we go I mean, let's start off uh, from the front. Um, the detail pack was already fitted by the previous owner. These discs I fitted myself. I mean, it just looks so Victorian, doesn't it? Come on, it just—it just looks it just so looks it looks so vintage. Really, really nice. It's you know for its size, it's got. Oh, there we go. There's the fireman. Um, I'll pick it up. I'll pick him up later. I mean, for its size. It's quite heavy, and that's because it's actually got a die-cast um, running board. If the camera focuses, there we go. The the die, the running board is actually die-cast. Um, yeah, the boiler and everything else is plastic, but the running board is die-cast, so it does have a lot of weight to it, which is appropriate uh, for a goods engine. As one might expect, it does have sprung buffers. And there's its number on the front. If it focuses, there we go. Three one eight zero six. So, yeah, 31086, sorry, 31086. Um, with the shed code, if it focuses again, shed code 73B, which I checked is uh, Bricklayer's Arms near London Bridge. 
But yeah, I mean, okay, delivery is very basic, but that's just the delivery itself. You know, British Railways goods black was was always like this. It was never lined. Um, you got the. This is not actually the Westinghouse pump. This is the steam reverser um, mechanism, because Southeastern and Chatham Rail, uh, Southeastern and Chatham Railway locomotives, they all had a steam reverser. You get the uh, separately fitted um, safety valves and the whistle, uh, separately fitted handrails running along both sides of the boiler, and also um, kind of curve up over the smoke box door, which is a really nice touch. So yeah, and you get the here's the wheels, which is very which looks really really nice. Brake rigging already fitted by the previous owner. And here's the cab. Now the fireman has fallen out, um, but I'll pick him up later. As you can see, the cab looks superb, and you know you would expect it to look the way it does because it's a pretty open cab. I mean, it is a, it is a Victorian design after all. It's got a pretty open cab. There's this number, 31086, uh, with the power classification 2F, which is obviously uh, added by British Rail. And now let's carefully turn to the other side. Excuse my massive hands. <laughs> um, here we go. Let's turn to the other side. You can see uh, the other side looks just as nice. And there's this number. The driver is there, I forgot to mention. But yeah, so... You know, the engine looks really nice. The tender, the tender looks really nice as well. Uh, of course, all of this is real coal, which was fitted by the previous owner. Um, although this this tool here seems to be sticking out a bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look, but yeah, that's, that's just the way it came. Um, but I mean, the tender looks really nice as well. You get the early emblem there. On the back, you get uh, two brake pipes. So this one was very clearly fitted by the owner, but the other one um, seems to be. I think the other one was part of the detail pack. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure why there's two, but yeah, it's a. It's still a nice touch. Uh, sprung buffers on the back as well, and it's got NEM coupling as a standard. So yeah. So yeah, all in all, beautiful engine, especially for the price I paid for it. Um, yeah really really nice locomotive and the fact that it's got all this extra super detail by the previous owner that makes it even better makes it look, makes it look even even better uh, for me personally but yeah but yeah very very good weight to it yeah can't can't uh, say too much I mean it can't say anything out about the livery that's just the way the livery is but um, yeah pretty basic but but yeah it, that, doesn't really matter. It's an accurate lip representation of, of the of the uh, real life BR black livery. But yeah, all in all, fantastic model. But what about performance? Let's see how she does it. So here we have the Bachmann C class on the track, and what we're going to do? We're going to select the number and watch her go. Away she goes. Okay, so a little bit noisy, and I do find that for a freight engine, she this is halfway speed. She is running a bit fast uh, for a freight engine, but other than that, very nice, very smooth, very consistent. The fireman seems to have fallen over again. I'll have to I'll have to fix that, but. Uh, yeah, no, very nice. Let's get a few shots of her passing. So yeah, all in all, very nice one. Up. No, at least, at least you know it runs well. Doesn't cut out or anything. Yeah, very impressed with it. So just to conclude this video, I definitely recommend her. 
you can get if you can get hold of one, I would highly recommend a C class because this is a fantastic model. Especially if you can get it at a good price like I did. Yeah, go for it. Definitely. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.